Same program, exactly. A good operating system is easiest for a programmer to use if the programming language fits with the style of the system. So along the way in the course of the Unix system development, Dennis Ritchie created the C language. C is a very nice high-level language with many of the modern programming constructs in it. The thing that's very important about it is that it lets you avoid the details of the machine when you want to, but when you need to, and sometimes when you're writing an operating system, you really do need to, you can get at the details of the machine and control everything. But you're not forced to do that, and that's important because that means you can write operating systems in this language and still have something that can be portable to other machines. The Unix system has been moved to many, many different kinds of computers. Again, that means that people can ignore the details of what a machine is underneath and get on with their job. Now, so at that level, C is by far the favored language. At the next level, the shell programming language is very popular. In fact, on some machines, people find that the shell meets all of their programming needs. They are writing lots of procedures to help them manage their work. They don't even have to go to a language at the level of, of C. As it happens, though, because the system is such a pleasant programming environment, programmers all over the world have imported or added their own languages. So, for instance, you can find Fortran, Algol, Lisp, BASIC, in fact, almost any language you can think of exists on some Unix system. Some